No. Hi everybody. Wherever you are in the world today, that's my usual starting piece, isn't it? Just waiting for one or two people to go, oh, oh, Bob Nudd's live. Bob Nudd's live. So we'll just wait and see, and I'll show you where I am today. Yes, and immediately you get one or two people. I don't know if anybody goes to work. Well, I know I don't go to work, but I suppose most people are working, aren't they? Hi, Stephen. Stephen Ellis says good morning. Hi, hi Stephen. David Simmons. Hi, Dave. He's a fishing friend of mine from near where I live. Lee Garner. Good morning, Lee. Hello, Tony. Bad luck on Sunday, Tony. You didn't have a very good peg, did you? Danny Chetwood. Hi, Danny. Anthony Watlin's watching my friend Tony while he's, he's just plumbing in some pipes somewhere. And Fabrice, good morning Fabrice. Yeah, Tony's said he's working and watching. Hey, I'm gonna show you where I am today. This is, this is a new venue for me. Bobby's working today. I'm out with, um, it's one of my coaching days, but really this angler doesn't need coaching. He's very good, he is very good. Let's, let's show you where I am, and then I'll get you. <laughs> Everybody's saying they're at work. Let me just reverse the camera, look look at this. Right, I'm out with, with Andy Anat, and Andy used to fish for the Nidmen. I don't know if any, they're a Yorkshire team, he comes from Yorkshire. And we're at, uh, we're at a fishery on the Cambridge-Lincolnshire border. It's uh, called Liddles. I think this one, I don't know if this is, this is a carp. It, actually, it's a carp lake. There's some big carp. We've already lost one or two carp, but we're fishing for roach today and it's solid with lovely quality roach. And he's loose feeding by hand, hemp and caster, and he's swapping between caster and maggot on the hook. But catching, I mean, it's absolutely solid with fish. He's got one on now. I always put it back. <laughs> there. Well, you get that from me sometimes, don't you? Now, let's have a look. And I'll tell you a little bit about how we're fishing in a moment. Just show you where I am. This lovely lake. This is a, I suppose you could class it as a commercial fishery, but it isn't. You know, it hasn't, it's, it's a really old, well-established lake um, with big carp. So... Quite often, these, these roach, they just don't get fish for. So we, let's talk a little bit about the rig and what we're doing. Let's come back to me for a second and then I'll... Thomas Wright, hi Thomas. Chris Davis working from home. Thomas Wright is watching. It looks lovely today, lovely and comfortable here. We had the sun out earlier this morning, but it's just, just clouding over. So I thought I'll do a live piece now fishing let me show you where we're fishing let me go back go back out let's go back onto Andy there's Andy there he's, he's fishing at seven only seven meters he's got a, a seven meter we call them whips but they're not whips so you unship at them so loose feeding on his float loose feeding all the times there's loads of fish in here gram and a quarter float Three number nine droppers, fishing fairly positive. <coughs> Looks like that one held it up. Yes, it did. <laughs> Getting hold ups and everything. It's not very deep, it's about... There, it comes in with a nice rud. It's only about, oh, probably not quite six foot, so 1.6 meters deep, 1.7. No, 1.8, because that's... That's about how tall I am, 1.8 something meters. We're just loose feeding. We've set a rig up for fishing up in the water later, but plenty of fish, so loose feeding all the time, just going out, flicking out just past the end of his pole tip and watching it as it settles. Maggot on the hook, swapping between maggot and caster. Joseph. <laughs> it's good to see so many, Harold. Good to hear you. Cheers from Germany. That's lovely. This you get everybody from all over the world. 
watching. Let's come back to me. Uh, somebody's in the process of selling his carp gear. <laughs> he wants to take up match fishing. Really is brilliant this morning, as I say. It's just, just at the moment, it's just come over cast, but it's. So somebody's currently in the middle of selling these carp gear. I'll answer all the questions. I usually go through them late, later on at night and, and answer the questions uh, if, there, if there is questions to answer. And usually I say hello to everybody as well. Maybe a, a little bit late, but just just going back onto the fishing side of it and show you what we show you what we're catching. They had some nice roach already. Some nice net roach. There's lots of lots of other fish here as well, but. It, it's definitely faster than one a minute. But some really good net roach. I think on these commercial waters, what happens is it's mainly carp fishermen, so he's flicking out again, just shipping out. Hi, Liam. <laughs> oh, my friend Liam, who used to make all my videos, wants me to plug Billy's book. <laughs> I did plug Billy's book, Liam. I put it on my Facebook page this morning. Do you know what? It was red hot earlier, and now it's just suddenly got cold. Let's just get out onto the, onto the. You can't see the float from there. I wish I could zoom in with this. I don't know whether you can zoom in when you go live. I suppose you can. Oh, somebody says hello from sunny M M Mallorca, Mallorca. Oh well. <laughs> Liam Dale sniggered. <laughs> Just in again. Bites all the time. But we haven't been fishing that long, so the fish fish have not settled yet. I think we're gonna catch a lot up in the water. There's one on now. <laughs> Loads of small fish at the moment. Have you tried caster? Yeah. Flick, we're gonna try caster in a minute because sometimes there's small fish on, on maggot. But Andy doesn't really need any tuition. He's, he's catching well. We've got a one and a quarter gram DT Nevis float. I love those floats. They've got a, it's like, it's a high density polystyrene, I think. They, they all seem to come out the same size. And even if you put a hole in them, they don't, the float always stays the same. It never, never sinks. My favorite floats. He's got one of my floats on. And a size, coming in with fish all the time, size 15, sphere, classic hook, Olivet and three, three droppers, fishing nice and positive. So dropping down, even though we're loose feeding, we're dropping down to the bottom to try and get through those smaller surface fish. So we're loose feeding, the, the big fish will come in as well, but the, the small fish will be there. So we're loose feeding, hemp and caster, just round the float every time. Nicely, at seven meters you can loose feed nicely with your left hand. But even then he's, he's catching fish up in the water, but probably faster than one a minute. Another one comes in, he's, he's, I think, he, do you know what? I think he's quicker than me. Definitely, nice big plop as it goes in. Fabulous, so this is just a roach fishing session today. Not, well, we, we, have, hooked, we have hooked a carp earlier quite early on. Uh, I won the match on Sunday, Malcolm. Malcolm is asking how I got on and I won the match with uh, 28 pounds. We're just out, I'm just trying to show you a little bit of action. That float shotted right down. And if it gets to the bottom, then you do have a chance of catching a bigger fish. Another fish, another fish coming in. Fabulous place to come and fish. Really nice roach fishing. Yeah, another two ounce, two ounce roach straight in. Really is, uh... hey, I wish I was fishing a match here. Let's come back to me for a sec. Yeah, I wish I was fishing, lovely here, beautiful. I've got the car parked there. Where, where, where's my car? Look, that's how close my car is. Just see it up there, right behind my peg. B 
bit of gear there. Just lovely. Lovell's Fishery, brilliant. Really is good. Good for roach fishing. And um, it's uh, Stu Redman organised this for me. Uh, Lovell's, Lovell's Lake, Stu Redman organised this for me. And uh, he's a good lad. He comes over and fishes it a lot. Got everything organised with the owner and, and got, the, got the peg sorted out. Let's come back to me for a minute. That's it. So I can chat. At least I'm not fishing today, so I can sit and chat to everybody, can't I? Any advice for fishing the Trent Embankment in Nottingham? Hi, Alan. Uh, well, we're not allowed to fish it at the moment, the Trent, but um, I used to fish it with pole. I've won matches there with pole, but of course it's a feed of water as well. Uh, somebody from Luxembourg, is this fabulous, this, this live feed, because you, you get people from all over, all over the world. Well, let's have a look at the bait, shall we? Let's have a look at the bait we've got on today. We've got on caster, we've got red maggots, ground bait, hemp, and caster. So, carp, uh, not carp ground bait, roach ground bait. Roach ground bait and ro all roach baits. Just going out again, and every cast is loose feeding. Loose feeding. Of course, with roach, you're not playing the fish for long, so so everything's, you've got to just watch for your bite, watching for your bite, watch what you hit, looking for the float to bury. There's so many fish there, and when you get small fish, you can easily miss them. It's coming in again. Slightly better fish this time. Nice, nice roach. Just about, just about lift this, but this is a sort of, this is the sort of quality that you can get here. Just lovely, lovely quality roach. Straight in. I think I think it's good because because nobody um, nobody fishes. Nobody fishes it. We're at Lovell's Fishery, and we're on the Cambridge Lincolnshire border. Probably the nearest major uh, town would be Market Deeping. See that? In, in again, another big fish on. That was on the drop, that one. Yeah, another bit. <laughs> so many foul look, that one. Where's the way? Oh, Chris Ward just caught a fish in Thailand. Hey, it's fabulous, isn't it? Hey? How, we, how you can talk to so many people all over the world. Brilliant technology. Just started a little bit of rain now. As I say earlier, it was lovely and sunny. Yeah, somebody just caught a fish in Thailand. It was lovely. And I can sit and chat to everybody because I'm not fishing. I'm working today. Let's have a look. Yeah, we've got a lot of people watching, which is great. And then I'll just save this and I'll replay it later. So we're fishing on the bottom, but even though we're loose feeding, but fishing on the on the bottom to try to catch some bigger fish. We will come up in the water later and catch big fish as well. But trying to get through the smaller fish at the moment. Fairly light elastic. Because it's only you're only catching roach, so you don't need, need too heavy elastic. Nice light elastic so you don't lose the fish. And then every time, and, and probably quite a bit of hemp as well. When you when you lose feeding hemp, you tend to catch bigger fish. To get to get the bigger fish feeding, smaller fish don't like hemp so much. So they, that gets to the bottom. At least there's something for the fish to get hold of. And uh, let me go back to let me go back to Andy again. Non-stop feeding, and it's ah uh, some small fish, but a lot of big fish there as well. Mick Searle says, "Is that the famous Andy? <laughs> Do you know Mick?" Hi, Mick. <laughs> <laughs> you see, uh, <laughs> Anthony it is hard work. Anthony Watland says it looks like hard work. 
It's about as hard as it was on Sandy, Andy. Uh, Anthony. Ah, oh, so you've got somebody, somebody watching who knows you, huh? <laughs> that looked like a lift bike then, didn't it? It was a lift bike. Oh, that's brilliant. So, so you've seen Bobby at work today. Um, this is from Lovell's Fishery. Lovely, they've got two lakes here, but they, uh, this, I think, I don't know whether this is called the old lake or the big lake, or he's just coming in with a nice fish now. Let me just show you, let's finish off with this, another big fish. Just see the stamp of the, he, the trouble is he's so quick. I don't get a chance to, this is a big roach. This is a lovely one to finish on. Nice, he's so quick. I don't get a chance to get my, my picture on it. Look at that. Lovely big, look at the quality of that roach. Beautiful fish. Well done, that's a nice one. Well done, Andy. Lovely one to finish up on. Okay, everybody, I hope you've enjoyed my live feed this morning. Uh, oh, I've enjoyed it because I've just been sitting here chatting to you. And poor Andy's doing all the hard work. So, hey, I bet he, as soon as he gets off that box, I'll be on it and having a little go. So don't worry. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for watching today. Really appreciate it. Don't forget, without you, us so-called stars, I'm not a star, but us so-called stars, without an audience, we're nothing. So I appreciate everybody who, who watches. And I appreciate all your comments comments as well. And I, I go through them all. I go through every one to see who's commented and who's been on. So thanks for that. He always is into another big fish. Let's just show you this last big fish then. <laughs> one big fish after the other now. Let's, let's just reverse the camera. He's netting another big fish now. Where is it? Just just out there. Might be a carp, this, is it? <laughs> I don't know. Let's... No, it might be a big roach. Do you think sometimes they're foul hooked fish? It certainly stretched that elastic out. Stu said that there's, there's some fish in here over a pound, some roach. He's still playing this one, so. Let's see what it is. Is he going to lose it? Will he land it? What is it? Even I don't know. <laughs> I know one thing, he needs to get some longer arms because he's on light elastic. <laughs> we, we, we both want to see what it is, but it won't show itself. It's still fighting, it's scrapping. <laughs> <laughs> but I've got a quite strong line on there. I've got oh, oh this look, looks ah, oh, it's a little carp. No wonder it was fighting a bit. Yeah, a little F one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well done. Yeah, nicely. Well done, Andy. Okay, everybody. Thanks for watching, a little bit of action at the end there, wasn't it? Lovely day. I'm gonna have a cup of tea now. I'm gonna say goodbye. Um, hi, Jimmy. Jimmy Ellis is watching and he was next to me on Sunday. He, he wanted to have a pound with me, but to be very truthful, I was frightened to have a pound with him because I thought, oh, he's local. He's gonna give me a right hammering. But luckily I just got in front of him. Didn't I, Jim? Okay. Um, you subscribe to Bob's fan only. I don't know, I didn't get that. Okay, bye everybody. Thanks very much. All appreciated, everybody who's watching. Bye.